this week I spent some time playing uh, one of the PS Plus games for this month, which is Laura Croft. Laura Craft. Croft. Damn. Lara Croft. That one. Yes. Temple <laughs> of Osiris, which is kind of like the second in this weird spinoff, top-down actiony. Yeah. Well, kind of. The thing that's kind of cool about this series is this actually continued the classic Laura games in tone and stuff. Yeah, see, and you're way more into Tomb Raider than me, and I am (laughs) way not into Tomb Raider. Like, literally, I've played Tomb Raider 1 and Tomb Raider Reboot, and then this one. Well, well, yeah. (laughs) Well, I mean, like, the, I mean, if you play the the classic Tomb Raiders, like, you're shooting dinosaurs, you're you're shooting mummies, you're shooting a lot of not people, and then this one is kind of, like, continuing that. I think you're just in an Egyptian temple and shooting, like, Egyptian gods or something. Yeah, mummies and skeletons and the like, but, yeah, mm-hmm. no, this game is a ton of fun. I don't know, it's one of those kind of almost old-school games that just exists to have fun with. Like, it almost feels like a Nintendo game in that sense, where it's like, there's nothing huge, epic, dramatic about this. It's just mm-hmm. you're going to run around and shoot stuff. And the entire game... The whole story revolves around this Egyptian god Osiris, and you have to try and find the different parts of him to put him back together. Yeah, I tried. I watched like the first ten minutes of that game. I could not understand what the hell was going on in that story. Like they really jump you, like put you like right into the story. Yeah, I really don't know either. I just know that I had to collect the body parts of this god guy because this other god was trying to blow up the earth, and that's really all I got. Okay. (laughs) The game doesn't really care because it's basically just you found his knee good work now let's go to the next tomb and find his face and oh, okay, then you yeah. find his face and it's like okay now boss fight now go find his shoulder and you just go from tomb to tomb to tomb to tomb just kind of exploring trying to find this yeah gotcha is it you said it's just like well is it a puzzle game because the first i played the first one and the first one was a puzzle game first and then a shooting game second I don't know. I don't know which one I would. It's definitely got both in it. I feel like it's a bit action heavy to say that it's just a straight puzzle game, and really, mm-hmm. with the exception of one or two puzzles, there weren't any I got stuck on. I was like, oh man, I can't figure this out. It was kind of like those, the... like, you know, like Uncharted like level of difficulty puzzles where it's like, this is here, oh. and I have to kind of pause for a second. But oh, there it is. Oh, okay. You, it was weird too. You played the single player, or you played just by yourself, right? Yeah, I did. I don't like people. No, <laughs> no, but the, but I know that some of the puzzles, from what I understand, this game has four player puzzles and one player puzzles. So I'm curious if the puzzles like drastically change if you have four people playing. The only thing I could think of is, I mean, they were all obviously doable with one person. There are a couple like put the ball on the switch type puzzles where it's mm-hmm. like you stand on one, you put a ball on the other one and then boop, the gate opens or whatever. So I could yeah, see yeah. those maybe being a little bit different, but, you know, I don't really know. I didn't mm-hmm. play with other people because <laughs> I like my single player. Yeah. People just get in the way. Um, but mm-hmm. that was one thing I was hesitant with this is because I knew it was kind of based around kind of that four player co-op. But in my mind, like looking at it, the way it plays reminds me of uh, two games that I used to really like, which was the Gauntlet, I believe it was Gauntlet Dark Legacy for GameCube. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like that game like and games. then uh, Hunter the Reckoning, which is kind of a smaller franchise. I think there was two of oh. them. Those, that, that game's kind of like Champions of Norath, like those uh, like top Baldur's down, Gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But it kind of reminded me of that, so it's like, well, I liked those games by myself, so maybe I like this one by myself. And I did, and it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's a ton of fun. It completely, like you mentioned, ignores the reboot aspect of Tomb Raider, and it's just kind of yeah. like the campy, like, I'm running through a tomb shooting mummies. Oh, there's a giant crocodile. Like, you fight a lot of crocodiles. <laughs> um, it's just a very very fun game there's nothing mm-hmm. serious nothing overly dramatic just everything is just straightforward you get one piece you go find the next tomb you get the next piece you go find the next tomb and there's a couple other pieces like there's like challenge tombs that are a little bit harder i didn't do a whole yeah. lot with those i went through like one of them and it was towards the beginning so i don't know if the later ones get a little bit harder but it's a very straightforward game it's just if you like kind of those top-down actiony games it's fantastic you should definitely play the first one. The first one was like that. Yeah, are you gonna go back and play the first one? Because it's kind of the same game. It's the same series. Yeah, I probably will. I'll probably wait a while because it is like these top-down games do get really, really repetitive, really, really oh, fast. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And that was one thing that I almost would have complained about this game, but it's so short that by the time you're starting, you're like, 
Alright, this is getting old. It's like, oh, I only need one more piece. Oh, there's my piece. Okay, final boss battle. Done. So it doesn't, it's almost oh, doesn't okay. last long enough to get repetitive, which is why I think maybe going back and playing Guardian of Light, which is the first one, like, right after this, and just be like, okay, here we go. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, quick question. Are, how is the setting changed? Because right? the whole thing's set in Egypt, right? Yes. I mean, do, is there, like, different... Are the levels, like, pretty clearly different environments, or... Is it like you're just in Egyptian tombs the whole time? They're all pretty much Egyptian tombs. There's a couple obvious like differences. Like one's like a watery tomb. One got okay. like a whole bunch of like gas and fire in it. There is okay. a little bit with the hub world where part of what the final boss who's kind of always taunting you throughout the game does is he basically in- introduces these weather patterns to essentially open up and game mechanics wise these other teams so like at one point like you do something he's like oh well, i'm just gonna flood the whole place and you're like great i'll go in the water tomb now but as you do that you unlock the oh. ability to control the weather which is kind of cool so like for the first part it's like it's all night and then you go through the first team it's like oh now i can make it day again and then all of a sudden like okay the whole thing was all dark now it's all bright and colorful does that matter gameplay wise or no. okay <laughs> uh, it doesn't i mean like it changes some of the enemies abilities at one point it turns everything to ice so of course like mm-hmm. they can freeze you and stuff like that yeah. but for the most part it doesn't really affect gameplay but it's kind of one of those cool things that just kind of changes as you go through that's pretty cool I, uh, i'll probably end up playing that one well and it's free so you can't really argue with that <laughs> so i i really yeah, liked it sure. i think it's i mean it's short it took me maybe four or five hours to get through the whole thing mm-hmm. uh, i think there's like something like seven or eight tombs plus again i didn't do any of the challenge tombs and each level has the hit a certain score objective get a bonus thing beat it an x number of time get a mm. bonus thing you know these one or two things that you can kind of go back through and play to give it a little bit of replayability gotcha oh that's kind of cool yeah but i would highly recommend checking it out thank you for listening to our review of laura croft and the temple of osiris the game is fantastic highly recommend that you go check it out if you'd like to hear more of our content please subscribe to us here on youtube or you can follow us on twitter at darksliders underscore pod Thanks for listening.